Hello everybody, this is Colin underscore 2GG with that epic uh, network preferences intro. And today we're going to be talking about DaVinci Resolve 12, which is a great color correction program that is 100% free, at least at the time of making this video. So first thing you're going to want to do is ignore the fact that I've totally not made this already. And you want to go new project or make the project name. I'm going to make this Overwatch tutorial because I'm going to be using Overwatch video to make this as reference. I'm going to grab the video, show you what it originally looked like, and show what the final product will be. So let's just get to the part I have. Right here is close enough. Okay, so this is the original footage. All right, it's pretty good. You know, it's just raw footage. Um, the example footage I'm going to show you is 24 FPS because I messed up the first time I did this, but I won't mess up in the tutorial. So that's the original footage. And the now footage is this. And this is very stylized. It's very intense. Um, I just did that because... Uh, I found it to be, uh, I just wanted to show off the color correction. So again, so you created this, right? Open it. And now you have this, this, um, area. You want to go File, Project Settings, Timeline Frame Rate, 60 FPS, Playback Frame Rate, 60 FPS. Don't worry about this stuff. I wish there was sRGB, because my monitor is sRGB. You just want to go down on video format to 1080p, 60fps, or whatever your video is shot in. And then just scroll down, make sure everything else is correct for you. Save, and save your project. You always want to save this program after doing anything. Add smart bin, call this Overwatch. Um, if the tiled contains Overwatch, then it goes in here. I'll drag in your files. Just drag in your media. Drag in your media. Now it's in, and it's also in the smart bin. That's what smart bins do. So let's just say I dragged in some CSGO footage, for instance. Um, which one of these is like the smallest? This one. It won't be in the Overwatch folder, so it's super organized if you have a bunch of different games in one folder. So now I have the Overwatch. Um, uh, project, you want to go to edit. You just want to drag Overwatch into the timeline. And then you're going to want to use this slider up here to go to where your highlight is. For instance, for me, it is over in 140 right here. Click it. I'm just going to mute the audio because I'm not going to use it. Right here is good. So just use this tool by pressing B, and then click right where your highlight reel starts. Delete the footage before it, drag this to the beginning, since you don't want to watch a blank space at the beginning. And now you have your footage. It's the original footage look, just so you know. And, you know, it's going to go through and watch the footage until the part I want to end at. Um, right here. I'm also going to want to skip forward a lot. My next highlight reel, which is... Not highlight reel, just next time I got a kill, really. Right here. Right... right here and then delete the footage in between that because it's all useless footage drag this over to the other footage and place it so it's not overlapping so it'll actually delete that footage just place it right there and then find the end of the highlight reel which for me is right so I kill her go over and I kill him. That's it. 
So you just do that, delete the other fo footage. Um, to add a transition between the two, so when I get your transition from the toolbox and drag it in, like that, and then you have the transition. Now in this case, transitions, it's very laggy for some odd reason. Um, but if you click the transition, you can change the uh, scale of it. You just delete it. I'm not going to use transitions for this. Um, next is importing audio. This is annoying as hell. You can only import WAV format files at a... Let's check to make sure that's correct. Um, can't find it. I think it's like a 48 kilohertz file. I'm not 100% sure on that, but something around there. You may want to look it up. So just drag it into your media pool, which is right here. And then just bring it in. Now you have your music. Cut it, obviously, to the end of your video. You don't want a bunch of blank space. So now you have audio. It's super loud, so you're going to want to... I shot mine to about negative 21. And add a little less. Negative 24. So now you have that. Now what you want to do is you want to add in... Right here, add in some text, which is scroll down. And you saw left lower third text. Just drag it in. And then just change this to like Overwatch. Um, or Genji. Genji V Genji. I don't know. Name it something. I'm going to name it, or give it a font. I mean, whoops. I'm gonna use Aqua Grotesque for this. I just like it the most. I'm gonna drop the line spacing a little bit, and then go to this other one. Make this Overwatch or whatever you want, really. I'm gonna make this Roboto. Um, R. Make sure it's normal Roboto. My dog is being annoying. Doc, go away. So just overwatch. Um, don't increase the size. Uh, you can change the font f um, face from any of these there is. I can keep it as normal. The font case, like all caps or something. We got mixed. The drop shadow if you want that. Uh, I don't really want that, I don't really care about it. A stroke, which I do actually want. Percent. I'm going to want a... Some type of like purples. Nah. Let's cancel that, delete it. Then there's like opacity and stuff, which I'll get into later. Actually right now. So obviously you don't want your footage just to be like starting right away because that's unprofessional so instead what you can do is in composite click this little circle thing and drop to zero drop opacity to zero and then you go forward a little bit and then click again and increase the opacity um bring this back a little bit i'm gonna do with the overwatch thing too you want to scroll down a lot Find composite, click, drop, go forward. Okay, let's go a little bit first. There we go, okay. Okay, now right here I want it to fade out, so just go back to composite. Right there. So I have that. And then it fades out. Cool. And I'm not going to fade this. So that's the beginning. Um, let's just fade out the end because, yeah, that's my reason. 
It's the exact same thing as last time. And if you go to your audio, you can also just choose the volume and fade that out. Um, you can drag keyframes and bring it back a little bit. Like that. It's a super, super simple. So it's a nice little edit. As you can see, the, uh, the color is still bland, it's still the normal coloring. Which, depending on what you're doing, could be fine. Uh, I don't like it. Let's save that. So now what you want to go to is color. And this is where it gets complicated. I don't use this node graph, so ignore it. Just click um, this button. The full screen is your video. And now get to a part that has in some nice shadows, some nice highlights. Um, I'm going to use right here. And then you have all this stuff. Lift, gamma, gain, all this overcomplicated stuff. You have a raw video, you can go there. What you want to do here is you want to... I just start playing around with it to figure it out, but lift is highlights, gamma is midtones, gain is um, shadows. And you want to use these to correct the highlights, the midtones, uh, and the shadows. And so, for instance, these are the midtones, these are the highlights, and those are the shadows. See? Or, no, the shadows, the midtones, highlights. And just revert all these to these arrows. Oh, it's so ugly. Okay. And then what you want to do, and then you have this curve over here, right? Um, a curve graph. We're going to use both of these in order to color correct this to make it look good. First thing you're going to want to do is increase saturation to 75. Increase contrast a little bit. Like 1.9, 1.09. Go there. Color boost. Put that at about 10. So it just increases the colors, makes it look better. Midtone detail, put that at about 75. As you can see, you know, it really adds in some detail to everything compared to zero. It's kind of like a clarity in a way. So that's the first thing. Then what we're going to do is a color split technique. So what you do in the lift, bring in a little... Um, in the shadows, we're going to want that to be a little red, a little green though, because most of the trees are in the shadows. So something like a yellowish. And then what you want to do in the gamma, Let's make that the opposite, something in the blue purplish area. Then gain, same thing. Um, an offset. I'll just keep that as a blue offset and make it this a little more green. And then, so you have this decent looking image so far. Next, you want to go to red and the, uh, the what these things called. In the color bill, go to red, um, make an S curve. So just click this corner, drag it up like that, just a little bit, and drag this corner the opposite way. And do the exact same thing for blue, but the well, exact opposite for blue. Oops. Oops. Something like that. And then I'm going to bring these in a little bit, a little much. Something like that. Go into your greens and really just try to find a good area for the greens. Can't find one, I'm just going to keep it like that. Um, and then reset all of these. So I'm actually going to recolor them. Um, so for instance, I want the greens to be there, yeah. And I don't want it to be too blue and find that natural look, you know. So let's just look at the footage. And I like how the footage looks. Right, look at this. This looks good. I feel like it should be a little more green. There we go. And you know, this raises the highlights if you need that. Actually, let's do that. Raise the highlights a little bit. It's gonna be 50. So now you have a nice color correction. But if you notice, it's only on your first, first footage. Second footage, completely uncolor corrected. I don't want to redo all of that stuff I just did. 
exact numbers, which is too long. So select your second footage, right click the first one, click add correction. Now, if you go to edit, we can rewatch it. So if we, go that, we can rewatch it and see the new colors. This one, if you notice um, at the beginning, it's overexposed. And how we're going to fix that is we'll just go back to the color. Let's just drop the highlights back down for this one. Keep it a little high, but nothing like it was before. If you watch the transition. There we go. See a little yellow, but that's fine. It's out, so it's all good. I believe there's these things. I've never used them. That should be about everything for um for the edit tab. We went through the color tab. Um, if you want to enable histograms over here, and you can also put them onto your second um, monitor. If you have dual monitors, there's a workspace full screen. Or no, monitor calibration. Where is it? Layout, dual display, on or off. It's right there. Um, and again, you can make more nodes with this. That's what they're called. I don't use that ever. Um, but then let's go to the next part, which is the delivery tab. This is just where you export everything. So um, you're gonna really want to follow this if you want the best looking. Uh, if you want the best looking, what's it called? footage for YouTube. Um, I'll to save a lot. I forgot about that. Um, go AVI. Don't go AVI. Go QuickTime. H.264. Best compression quality. Um, frame reordering. That's fine. I want to go 1920 by 1080. Unless you want to upscale. That can look nice. 60 FPS. You're getting a higher bit rate with upscaled. Um, and then you want to make the... Uh, this, the f saving the file. So it's just gonna be, oop, I did something. Oh, I just brought it forward. Okay. So I'm gonna name this Overwatch or something, Overwatch highlights. Render it to a specific file. So I'm gonna do that quickly. Um, time lapses, Overwatch. Okay. You just want to add a render queue and start the render. We fell out of love like shooting stars came crashing down and we're building back up again now. I see your heart, see your mind, see all you hide. I won't let you go, can't let this die. When you lose yourself, I'll be right beside you. I see your heart, see your mind, see all you hide. Thank you all for watching this video. Um, I hope you learned something today. I also want to say uh, um, my game series will be coming back in full force back uh, probably next week. I just need to get some things figured out. Um, sorry about the month delay. We're going to restart the game, make it a third person shooter as requested from uh, um, a, a fan on Discord. And uh, uh, we're just doing that really because. Um, the what's it called the uh the top-down shooter was kind of restricting what we could make in terms of art assets um and i think i'll show you a lot more with the third person shooter than with anything else um that being said i hope you all had a fun time uh watching this video hope you had a good day and also especially wish you guys have a good game